For nearly 100 years, we have enjoyed the benefits of a free and public library. Over the past century, we have grown as a society. We love books. We thrive on information. We also like to listen to music and watch movies, all of which were unavailable through libraries 100 years ago. In an era of internet and technology, where information is only a click away, the demand for library service is even greater. We need a place to gather, a place to read quietly, a place to showcase local art and talent. We need a place to nourish our minds, strengthen our children, and our community. All ages benefit from our library. Young children prepare for school and develop a love for reading and learning. Teenagers gather to study and to access technology they may not have at home. Adults enjoy the latest novels. The library is a great equalizer, welcoming all of us regardless of economic need, education, or physical limitation. The only requirement is interest. It's made up of lonely moments There was always a moment there when I knew You always gave installments Always knew you concentrated and grew Do you believe that life is holding the clue? Take away all the lonely moments Give me full communication with you For nearly two years, the Library Board of Trustees has worked on expanding opportunities for our community to receive quality library services. With the input and involvement of nearly 100 community members, we are preparing to expand our current facility to provide more space for children and families, patrons needing computer access, individuals seeking a quiet place to read or study, and everyone interested in genealogy. All this in a building accessible to all. Your smile, shine a little light, all right. And don't hide, shine a little light, give up on your pride. Ask any parent whose family uses the library and they will tell you that the present children's area is just too small. The new children's room will provide expanded opportunities with appropriate seating and decorations. A larger collection and preschool play area will be available as well as a story hour space. The enlarged community room will provide space for larger programs like the summer reading program. 435 children attended programs in 2006. The library has no dedicated space for young adults. The expansion project will provide teens with their own space for study, reading, and tutoring. Listening areas will also be available for their enjoyment. The new services will serve to enhance their educational needs and provide a safe and culturally enriching environment. The library currently has only two computers for public use. Even so, the library provided computer time for more than 3,300 users in 2006. Demand is so great that the library is forced to limit use to one half hour per session 
and one hour per day per patron. The expansion project will provide at least six more computers and improved ability to provide computer training. Currently, there are no quiet places to read. The renovation and expansion project will bring back the quiet spaces to read and study. Seating will be comfortable and welcoming, inviting the reader to stay, read a book, do research, or browse one of the library's newspapers. Your smile, shine a little light, all right. And don't hide, shine a little light, give up on your pride. The library provides many programs, the book sharing with St. Joseph's, a place to get leisure reading for all ages, a cultural center, and an access to information to help realize our dreams and goals. We have a great library. Our library draws a crowd, but we can do more. We should do more. With your support, we will do more. We all have a stake in improving our community. When a campaign member asks that you become involved as a volunteer or to schedule an appointment to discuss your potential investment, please remember how our library benefits our community. Thank you. Shine a little light, give up on your pride.